So it took like almost two months for me to get it, literally. All right, so today I'm gonna test the bear skin. It's raining, it's around 40-ish, but it's damp. Hoodie like this and not make it waterproof. I already know it's warmer than, you know, a similar size, but it's not water resistant. So my final thoughts are, so here's how the bearskin hoodie arrives. It looks to be really high quality. It's got its own bag. It's got a uh, Ziploc up here. And I'm not gonna do the unboxing or packaging, if you will, but let's just take a look at this thing, if it was worth the wait and what my initial thoughts are. And then I'm gonna take it outside when it's cold and see if that windbreaker features actually works. You stand out features, actually there's a lot, but for quality, got their logo here. It's uh, sewn in on a patch. These uh, zippers all appear to be decent quality. And you got more advertising, of course. But they're, one of the reasons I bought this was, A, it was on sale, 60% off. And it appeared to be good quality. I mean, I buy stuff like this that's higher end, only when it's on sale, unless it's something I really, really need. But it's got pockets all over, you got adjustable cuffs, sleeve pockets, front pockets, inside pockets, and there's even a couple of back pockets here, which I'm not sure, you know, what these are for, it's on your behind, but I don't know, maybe you could put, uh, you know, like the uh, heaters in there and warmers or whatever. I'm gonna take it outside and we're gonna see if it's all what they say it is. All right, so I'm uh, testing out this bearskin hoodie to see if uh, I think it's worth the money. I, granted, I bought them on sale, so they're like 60% off. It's like 39 degrees, about 40 right now. And comparing it to uh, one of my other, uh, uh, I'll think of the name on the other one. Um, it does keep you warm. I mean, I'm pretty warm. I have one thin long sleeve under this, but not sure if it's worth the money. Definitely, I'm not sure if it's, if you ain't getting it at that 60% off, that's really the reason I bought it. So I don't know, if you're getting them at 60% off still, probably not bad, but just be aware they ship them from, from somewhere overseas. So it took like almost two months for me to get it, literally. I mean, if you're willing to wait, might be worth it to you. So that's the best I got for this bear skin. I mean, it is warm, warmer than a similar sweatshirt of the same thickness, I guess. All right, so today I'm gonna test the bear skin a little more. It's raining, it's, it's kind of light drizzle. Uh, it's around 40-ish, but it's damp. I already know it's warmer than, you know, a similar size, but it's not water resistant. I don't know why they would make, you know, an expensive outdoor hoodie like this and not make it waterproof. But anyways, we'll see how wet it gets by the time I'm done with my walk. All right, so it's been raining on me for a while now and it seems like it's starting to soak in. I mean, I'm still dry on the inside, but man, you know, when I wear my other one that I know is waterproof, I mean, it might be or something, but I still feel dry on the inside. I feel like moist on the inside right now. Even though the water probably hasn't got all the way in, I just don't feel that barrier that you feel with a truly waterproof product. So I've been out walking in the rain now. It's only been light rain, but it's definitely penetrating in and I can feel the wetness. So in summary, I'll give you my final conclusion in one second. Pockets are all cool. I like all the extra pockets. This phone pocket I don't particularly like because the phone goes in this way. And all my hunting jackets go this way. Obviously this way it's easier to fall out if you don't zip it. Little thing, but just thought I'd mention it. So my final thoughts are, if it's dry, it's warmer than a similar sweatshirt. But if it's wet weather, moist, raining at all, that cuts right through it. It might have wind technology, but I could feel the rain kind of soaking in on the outside. Granted, it hasn't made it into the inside just yet, but when I wear one of my other waterproof ones, I can definitely feel that layer where I'm dry inside even though it's wet. So, I don't know, I bought it at 60% off. I'm gonna say 
If it were up to me, I wouldn't buy it again. Probably save you guys some money, hopefully, here at Christmas time. So I hope to see you on another video. Thanks a lot.